Hi, welcome to 2020 Tasty Treats with Gourmet Quilter. I'm Susan Clare, uh, Gourmet Quilter, and we're doing a whole lot of um, applique at the moment as part of our 2020 series this year. We're doing an applique yum, so everything is just absolutely delicious. We've already done uh, six of our appliques out of the 20 that we're doing in this series, so we're up to number seven. There's a pattern available if you're interested through gourmetquilter.com. The pattern comes with everything ready for you to trace, so that if you want to do the fusible applique like I'm doing, or if you just want the patterns. Um, so, and these appliques are great. You could use them all together into a quilt, or you could make bags, cushions, aprons, all sorts of things out of them. Um, and they all just look so delicious, these ones. So this time we're doing a, a nice big ice pop stick, um, a multiple flavour ice pop stick. So what I've done here is I actually did a, a finger press line up the centre because I want it to be more or less centred up my block here. And then, so I've put my stick, so on the pattern everything is, all the pieces are numbered so that you know that the lower numbers go down first because they're probably sitting underneath something else. So I'm just going to put my next piece on and then we've got what looks like a very delicious, this is probably lime, this is probably raspberry. Raspberry and lime together are just so, so delicious. So this should overlap a bit so that it looks like it's coming down, the edges should all match. Oh, look at that, just dripping down there. And then we've got a chocolate topping, but I have to say, somebody has beaten me to it and had already had a little bite out of this little ice cream. Look at that. How rude is that? How delicious does that look? I think that just looks so delicious that somebody else obviously thought so too and took their little bite out of it when I wasn't watching. So I'm going to be doing free motion applique. I've uh, got a stabiliser to put behind when you do free motion. You do need some form of stabiliser, otherwise it wants to scrunch up because when we do a free motion settings on the machine, it changes how the tension works. So I've dropped my feed teeth. I've got a little open toe free motion foot on. I've got a grey thread in. I'm going to do all my applique in the same colour thread. So I think what I'm going to do is come around um, this top already eaten a little bit here and just start here so I'm just doing a free motion it's just a straight stitch just close to the edge of the applique because it's all fused on it all sits really nicely it's kind of fun to do and it's just a matter of following around all those wiggly shapes on this one The beauty of working on things like this, free motion, is that you can turn them if you need to, to if you're more comfortable with turning it round so you can see where you're going. It's always helpful. Somebody took a big bite out of this, didn't they, just? Um, and then I can keep coming, I'll just snip my thread. I can keep coming down here onto the next colour. And again, I can just follow all those curvy bits. So I think probably you know what I'm doing now. You probably don't need to watch me do the whole thing. So I will come back shortly and show you when I get to the other end. So I'm nearly back. I'm just going to do this little uh, the stick that we hold these ice pops with while I'm here. So, so I've been thinking very hard about who might have taken a bite out of it. And I can only really see one other person in the vicinity. The cameraman in a pickle, I think. So we're just coming back up to where we've already been so that we're going to meet up again. A couple of stitches on top of each other to lock it off. And we have finished, in spite of the missing bite, our ice pop. So that's uh, applique number seven in our series of 20. So we'll just pop it up here on this wall of deliciousness. Oh, it is looking good. And uh, 
and then I will uh, see you again with applique number eight.